Okay, continuing on today with the Laplace transform playlist we have here, we need to find the Laplace transform of t to the five halves. And then we do have some formulas over here to the right. In the previous video, we found this general formula for the Laplace transform of t to the n, and we expressed that in terms of the gamma function, but we have some other useful formulas here that's gonna help us with the gamma function. So to get started with this, I'm just gonna use my first formula here. So I can write this, our n value is gonna be five halves. So I can write this using this as five halves plus one. So that's gonna be just seven halves. And then s to the same value, which is seven halves. But from here, what I wanna do is try to get a more familiar value for the gamma function of seven halves. And we can use these formulas. Now you notice with this first formula, we could express the gamma function in terms of factorials. But generally a factorial is considered more for integer values. So what we can do instead is use this second formula. So for gamma of seven halves using this one, we can just reduce it by one. So we can say, this is the same thing as five halves times gamma of five halves. But then what we can do is just kind of use this repeatedly. So we'll bring in our five halves. We do this same thing again, and then we have three halves times gamma of three halves. And then doing it just one more time, we'll have five halves times three halves, but, I, but then I can rewrite this one here as one half times gamma of one half. Now some people like to create a formula for this because it always works the same way where you can write this in terms of like a double factorial. But once you've done this a few times, it just starts to go quick. So, but then at this point I find it useful to memorize or have one value handy. So if we can just memorize this value of gamma of one half and remember that it's the square root of pi, then we can just kind of plug that in. So what I'll do is we'll multiply this together. Five times three gives me 15. 2 cubed is gonna give me eight, and this thing's gonna be just square root of pi. So all we need to do is just take this and we'll plug this back in here. So for our solution to this, we're gonna have just 15 square root of pi over eight s to the seven halves. Okay, that's it. More Laplace transform videos coming soon. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.